are changing. And Africa is now the world's youngest continent. Africa is the youngest continent. Majority of the population are under 35. What are we doing about the youth? Because the youth constitute one of the uh, important pillars that we're focused on. Let me say the youth are not only the future of this region, but uh, I believe we are the present and the future. Uh, if we define what do we mean by young people, there is this external perception that young people are a homogeneous group. This is not the reality. We have also young people in vulnerable settings. We have young people uh, with disabilities and we have foremost young women. But again, a population that is ill-skilled and unemployed can be a demographic curse. So this is the challenge. But the opportunity is in us trying to convert this demographic dividend into opportunities. But also young people as being the largest population, they are our biggest asset. Because the richness of nations is not in stones but in its people. It's never been more important to develop our youth into confident and transformational leaders that can navigate Africa through the incoming economic and political climates. Africa's youth are faced with growing concerns about how to thrive in their peoples. And that's where you Lead Africa comes in. Founded in 2017, we are Africa's flagship youth leadership program, following the youth's greater demands and expanding our work from the East African community to the continent. There are many challenges facing young people on the African continent. The biggest one of them is that each and every one of the young people in Africa have the desire to become a leader. I think investments should be made more to build the capacity of young people in Africa to become effective leaders. Under globalization, the world is small. The whole world, the outside there, has skills. We need to equip our youth with the requisite skills so that they participate properly, even in, in global interaction. And this means that we need to do more to create economic opportunities and work opportunities for young people. You Lead for me represents that opportunity for young people to first of all think about their problems collectively and then develop, if it be um, disruptive strategies, to take action on addressing those challenges. The summit is not, not just a three days or four or five days event for young people to come and chit chat and go home. Whatever they are saying is influencing our one-year work, what we call the post-summit agenda. With now more than 10,000 alumni and over 30 partners, an active partner-led work in all five major African regions, a One Young Africa is our vision. We have a great vision. We're envisioning 150 delegates in person, 20,000 virtually, but this is not to me the only success indicator. The success indicator is ensuring that all these 20,000 young people virtually provide inputs and meaningful engage throughout the conversation and all their suggestions are then incorporated into our post-summit agenda. Look at 2017, just East Africa coming together and now thousands of African young people. Summit 2021, we are proud to announce that we are going continental, coming together as a one young Africa. And we want actually to break the borders. The CFTA is here. We want African young people to come together under your lead summit platform, trade together across the borders, innovate together across the borders, and create jobs as well as prosper together. That's what drove us to become, you know, one young Africa. We have the potential and the capacity to do so. From 8th to 12th November 2021, we are hosting Africa's largest hybrid summer ever with your Leeds Africa's patron, His Excellency Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete, former president of Tanzania as chief convener and Honorable Dr. Peter Matuki, the EAC Secretary General as co-convener. The theme is the future of Africa, creating jobs, feeding and housing the world's youngest continent. I call upon policymakers, development partners, the private sector, media, civil society and other stakeholders to be part of and support the staff and community in convening this year's ULIT Summit. It will attract participation 
from all the partner states of the ESC and indeed the continent. I thank you. Asandeni sana. See you in Arusha. Tujenge vijana wetu. Since 2017, ULIT Summit, as popularly known, is jointly convened annually by the East African Community and MS Training Center for Development Cooperation in Arusha, Tanzania, in collaboration with a myriad of partners. COVID-19 is both a blessing and a curse, equally. We have seen how the COVID pandemic has hit very hard young people. And this is why You Lead Africa will bring together more than 15,000 people on a single platform because travel is restricted, but more people come together through the internet, courtesy of COVID-19. We are welcoming a virtual and physical audience from all African countries together on the same platform. Nonetheless, COVID-19 has reduced the opportunities for young people. Young people have lost jobs, and COVID-19 pushes us beyond the boundary to innovate and create jobs that we have lost using COVID-friendly mechanisms such as online platforms, as well as increased cooperation between and among young people across the borders, especially under the CFTA, which regards that trade should happen beyond borders of any country. The 2021 summit will be delivered in the form of thematic forums, the Under 40 Political Leaders Forum, which examines current representative democracy models. The Under 40 Business Leaders Forum assesses the existing environment for doing business. So it is important to engage and involve youth from initial uh, uh, discussion about our drive uh, to promote continental free trade area. The Arusha debate is infused into your lead summit to generate insights into how to make social and economic development a reality. Yes, so the Arusha debate um, is being convened by ourselves, MSTCDC. Uh, as you know, we're quite um, uh, curious, but also propagate uh, pan-Africanism and knowledge that is homegrown and bred. Arusha hosts a number of higher education institutions, and uh, it's the right place for hosting the Arusha debates. The Tanzanian government has been so keen under the leadership of Our Excellence Samia Sulu Hassan in getting all the youth to participate. The Arusha Peace Model showcases models that promote the role of youth in peace building. The Gender Equality Forum discusses ways to dismantle the structural causes at the root of gender inequality. East Africa to Bonge, a joint flagship initiative of Unite Africa and Kenya Young Parliamentarians Association, KYPA, to foster young leaders' legislative enlightenment. ULIT Summit 2021 Key Milestones Launch of the East African Youth Agenda Unveiling the inaugural EAC ULIT Fellowship Launch of the Youth Governance Architecture Study Series Unveiling the Elected Young Leaders' Performance and Cooperation Peer Review Mechanism Launch of the Arusha Debate through the inaugural Arusha Debate Session. There are so many opportunities for partnership and ways to work with us or contribute financially to our cause. Contact us. You can also connect with us through our social media channels at One Young Africa. You Lead Summit 2019 is the Africa that we want. And I really appreciate you lead Summit for giving us a platform on how we can build a collective power to create a sustainable movement that will help us create change in our society. So I'm very, very happy to participate in ULID Summit 2019. ULID Summit is really awesome. ULID Summit Youth Power. ULID Summit is empowering. ULID Africa, a one young Africa where dreams are born and youth become leaders.